starting now. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. You were slow there. Hey? You were slow there. I was <laughs> slow. He didn't know what to say, that's so, well, welcome, welcome back to his channel, we're off again. Uh, are we? Yes. Make it use, get, get some use out in it. Anyway, we're off. I we're, where we're going. We're going to Woodland View. That's it, Woodland uh, View. Woodland View campsite. It's literally about 15 20 minutes from our house, so it's perfect for us uh, for a bank holiday weekend because we don't want to go far, uh, not on the bank holiday. So, uh, it tell you where it is, it's Junction 37 on M1. It's a cracking site because we've stayed there before. You, uh, you know, Lady Gulf uh, Gloria uh, runs it, and, uh, and it's only 20 quid a night. We electric, it's a bargain. Absolute bargain and it's a lovely place, lovely people. We've been like I said, we've not been there with Motor before, but we've been there with Caravan. Oh, and it is, it's great, fantastic views. And uh, like I say, so you come off at junction 37, uh, and it's time but you, you know you follow the signs for Manchester, so you, you, you're heading west, and it's only about 10 minutes from home to it. And uh, as you turn left, head down there to a place called Hoyland Swaying, and it's a pub bang up as it's side. Yeah, and then if you walk past the pub and further down, there's another one further down there. Result! Basically. <laughs> Basically, but we've fetched plenty of alcohol. We've fetched plenty. So, yes, we're, so we're off to Ireland's way, and... Uh, and it's a gorgeous day. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Right, let's go and have a look at the numbers. Thank you all very much for subscribing to us. We really appreciate it, don't we, Keels? Yeah. You were slow there. <laughs> <laughs> we do really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to a channel, why not? Do it! <laughs> do it. So, yes, please subscribe to this channel. This, this channel. And uh, <coughs> I can say we'll let you know about all these exciting places we go to. Because this is fab. It's literally just off M1 Junction 37. And at 20 quid a night. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh yeah, Russ has done a bit of DIY as well. Oh, yeah, we'll what show we you need to show you. Yeah, why in as well, because it we did have a an issue with motor up. It wasn't an issue. I mean what I kept falling off the seat. Yeah, every time a, I leant back. Yeah, so I had best seat, that's why. <laughs> You nicked my seat. <laughs> I did. So, literally, I will show you what I've done. And, uh, like I say, it's only fault we've found with motor, you know. But it's not a fault, it's just how they've changed design. But we'll show you that. We'll show you that when we get to, to the side. So, on that note, we'll see you in a tip. See you in a bit. Bye. 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 Right, so, that little job I was telling you about, that little problem. Well, not a problem, but we've found a, an issue. Well, I did when I fell off at chair basically so we've got we've got this bench seat here which when you're watching telly up there you can prop your cushions up nice I took it to sit in that corner which Keely does she always pinches that seat and uh, yeah and you can watch telly when you come to this side what I were doing I was piling cushions up and then sitting against them and cushions were then falling down gap behind me and I went not arse have a tip so what I've come up with what I've done, I put that there. I cut it out, painted it grey to match interior. Made it, you know, put that on it so it looked somewhat like something different. And now, cushions go against it. I've just got top to finish off. I've just got to order some plastic trim for there just to finish it off nicely. But cushion goes against there, and you can lean against it and watch telly while you're having a drink. My table I've done. It's great. It's great, but yeah, that bit. I want. I think I would have more to, um, auto trails. They had a cupboard there. Um, I'm sure they have, and they've got something there. But on this one, they had not So, yeah, only only fault I've found. But it's not a fault really. It's not sorted now. Bit of MDF painted, sorted. Like I said, a bit of trim to go on top. Ten quid off bit, uh, eBay, sorted. Jobs are good, and other than that, beer time. Fantastic. Love it. Love it.
He lay on booze already. Piss head. <laughs> so, absolutely. I admit to it though. <laughs> oh, I'm on holiday. I'm not really, I'm just a breakaway. So yeah, this is uh, uh, Woodland View campsite. And so I'll just show you around. I'll just show you around. There we are. Beautiful day, absolutely beautiful. Got your water point up there. You got a toilet and shower through that gate there. And uh, yeah. Yeah, pub. If you walk through that gate, just there, straight up there, other side of the road, pub. That's where pub is, straight across the road. So yeah, so this is it. There's not many pictures on it. So you best to phone up and book a pitch. Definitely don't just turn up. Uh, because I think what one, two, three, four, five, six pictures up here. I've got one in front. They do have pictures through that gate, but I don't think they're uh, you know they've got electric on them. I think these are only ones up here with electric. But yeah, I mean it is absolutely beautiful place. You, if you heard Keely, then yeah, you do get traffic noise. That's the only downfall because there's there's literally a road running there, busy road it is. Uh, and like I said, Manchester's that way, Barnsley's that way. You can see cars going up and down. But yeah, I mean, look at it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's take you down here. So down here, I think, is the... Uh, they do have pictures down here. Hold on, let me just get a dog. I'm supposed to keep dogs on leads. <laughs> Most has escaped, dragging his lead behind him. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> well, pets on leads. Can you hear traffic? That's not any problem. That's only fault here. Get over it. It? It's gorgeous. Yeah, so they have uh, some pictures down here. I mean, look at view. Like I said, Barnsley. Barnsley is over there somewhere. Just over there. So if you just want to come and chill out. So when you come up to these gates, you've got your drinking water there. Elson Point there, not drinking water. That's not your drinking water. Got a sink, basic toilet. Bits and bobs for sale, look. Donations to help children with cancer. So that's good, isn't it? That's good, so. 50p for electric whisk. Yeah. You got your recycle bins there as well. Plastic cardboard, tin cans, and then yeah, household rubbish there. So yeah, recycle. Things for sale. So that's about it for its uh, site. Not very big, but uh, I 
like I say, lovely. If it weren't for that road over there, oh, that'd be great. So yes, get beast. Love it, love it. It's bloody warm. It's beautiful. Lovely. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, when you're booking this page, this this site, uh, don't forget your best pre-booking it, phoning up and booking it. I'll put number below down here somewhere, just here, and uh, postcode and everything. But uh, honestly, you can't you, you can miss it, can't? It is quite difficult to see as you're driving up main road. But uh, when you do uh, arrive here, obviously after you've booked it with Gloria, each pitch has like a white number plate. Now, can you see it? It's, uh, oh, Gilly's going to point it out. My assistant's going to point it out. Ta da! The white. <laughs> it's like a number plate, basically, a white number plate uh, board. And your name will be written on that board. Good, eh? So when you, you come to the gate, open the gate, drive through, and then uh, look for your name. Yeah, but make sure you book. Yeah, you've got to book. Because I know that she does get busy here. Um, it's no good just turning up. And did you mention there's no shower? Oh, I no shower. It's just the toilet. Yeah, just toilets. Um, somewhere to empty your cassette toilet as well, like. So, uh, yeah. Bus just wrapped around me. What are you doing? Honestly, gorgeous. I think somebody's coming in behind us. Yeah, I think neighbours are coming back. Honestly, but a few more drums in here, but uh, I think they've all. Oh, places to visit. Right, well, if you do come here, places to visit. Right, so if you head towards Penniston, which is up the hill, it's about four, is it about four mile, three mile? But yeah. Up, up the hill. Uh, if you've got electric bikes, you can go on Trans Pennine Trail. Uh, and you can go, oh, you can go for absolute miles. We walk on that regular where we live because uh, it goes past Bottom Row Street, and uh, we walk Buster on there, and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, Take you to Stocksbridge as well. Yeah, Stocksbridge. You can get get all over it. Honestly, you've probably heard it. Trans Pennine Deep Trail. Car. Get all over on it. It's lovely walk. Flat. You know, one. Well, I say it's flat. It's not really, but um, our trains got up some of these hills. Up here, I do not know. Back in days, back in them dear days, uh, up them dear hills, up them dear hills, <laughs> um, them dear hills of eyes. <laughs> what planet are you on? <laughs> yeah, I've had a beer. <laughs> you only had one. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, so you've got uh, Penniston out of that way, heading up hill. I've got a fly on my head, um, and uh, Trans Pennine Trail, uh, and then if you've got. Other way, you can head to Cannon Hall. That's worth a visit, Cannon Hall at Cawthorn. Yeah, That's not too, not too far Pretty. away. Yeah, big uh, big house down there. Um, but you do need, I would say you need a car to, to get there. But this place, we, we used to come here with caravan. Um, so it is car caravan friendly. Um, so it's not just motor homes here. It is caravan friendly. And uh, actually you can even nip it. If you've got a tow car or like say you fetch a caravan, you can get to these places. But they're on our doorsteps, so we go on a regular basis to them, like, you know, so, but it is a lovely part, lovely place to visit. Lovely. Um, but we don't usually do bank holidays, do we? No, we tend not to go away bank holidays. This but, is why this is ideal for yeah, us. But we, uh, we have got, try and avoid them. We have got this bank holiday off, which is very rare for me. Very for me. rare. And you. Um, so uh, we thought we'd just, like I say, get away for a couple of days. It's only two nights. Um and uh, it's fab. Where well, that car's going? Get down there, you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop disturbing us. <laughs> We're chilling out here, trying to have a beer. Um, so yes, yeah, this video is sponsored by uh, Jameson's Orange. Uh, big thanks to Jameson's Orange for me. Uh, uh all my whiskey you've sent me. Freebies. All my freebies. Not. You to, can dream. I'd like to buy some. <laughs> Gutted. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the future. Have I told you that? It's the future. Jameson's Orange. Oh, lovely. 
Um, right, I'll cut it here. We'll show you a bit more later on. Bye. There we are, just taking Buster for a walk in the fields. It's lovely, isn't it? It's noisy that road. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So, Woodland View campsite. It's nice, don't get me wrong, it's nice, but there's a road runs past it and it's noisy, isn't it? Mm. I mean, we just said it when we were walking down, but it is. It's nice, but it's not for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we have stayed here before and uh, we forgot how noisy that road is. And, it's, and they, they do not have to go up and down quick, they, they fly up and down like you've never known. Just chasing, dogs chasing around, and uh, but yeah, it, it does it does get really busy and they don't hang about on it. So pub across road we went across yesterday and uh, bank holiday Monday and it was shut. So we didn't go in there yesterday. So but there is one further up on the same side. If you walk past it and you walk further up, there's, there's another one up there. I forgot what they call that one now, um, and I don't even know if they sell food or not. But this one across road does sell food. Um, but uh, like I say, it was shut yesterday, so a bit disappointed, but never mind. Uh, but yeah, if this this site's all right. If you're coming, driving up M1 and you're back to Junction 37, you yeah. think, I need a break, I need an overnight or somewhere, or a couple of days somewhere, it's all right for that, and that's about it. If you're not towing a car, you ain't got transport, like we said earlier, it's not really any good. Uh, we just wanted a chill out break, and we have, we've came, you know, Came. We've came. We've came. We've came. We've come. We've came. <laughs> we've came. <laughs> we, we, we came. We came. I meant, I meant to say we came here. So yeah, this, is, this is morning after having a bloody good drink last night. <laughs> so we uh, we come here last a uh, couple of days ago. And it, it's been a nice break, and that's about it. We sat around van. You know, our weather's been spot on to be honest. It rained a bit yesterday, but hey ho, it is what it is. But. Uh, Nice just to relax and not do anything, but Russell don't like doing that. I get bored. I get bored right easy. He's bored in the house, he's bored. He's bored. <laughs> he's bored. Yeah, we, had a, we had a skin full last night. We've got to drive home, yeah. Achilles driving. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. I know you don't. So, yeah. I mean, scenery wise, it's fantastic. Um, like I said, for an overnight, it's great. A couple of nights, it's great. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Um, <coughs> you know, tell us about it. Oh, yeah. Out of our window. I know it's not the uh, campsite's fault, but we're looking straight onto the farmer's uh, dumping ground. I'll put a photo in here now, and it's not a pleasant view, to be honest. Uh, that's, that's a down, down side, but there's nothing campsite can do about that. It's farmer just dumping his crap there. Um, but, like I say, other than that, it's not a bad area. I'm at the latest campsite. So, we'll leave it there. So, and uh, we'll catch you in a few weeks. Wait for the next one. The next one. Yeah, so, we'll see you then. See you later. Thanks for tuning in. And again, thanks for your subscribing. Thanks for, and if you haven't subscribed, which 75% of you who watch our videos haven't subscribed, why not? It don't cost no, it's free to subscribe. You know. Do it. <laughs> Do it, please. <laughs> Do it, yeah. Uh, so, on that note, we are going this time. Yeah. So. It's not going to waffle on. We'll see you later. See you later. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.